hello and welcome back to the project hercules diaries for a very short update on the new cylinder head so as you can see the engine is back in it is vertical in the frame where it's supposed to be and the dynastart is connected now we've not got every bolt in all the way around it just needs to be bolted in enough so it's not going to fall out uh, it's not taking it's not going to start we're just turning it over and the new head is on i think the new head looks quite smart on there uh, it certainly looks the part and it's another part that we've made ourselves now so there are fewer and fewer pieces from the original bristol hercules engine now in the cylinder head itself we now have the four holes that will be the exit holes for the decompressor so that when when the decompressor is activated those holes will vent to the atmosphere and we can test to make sure that we've got enough rotational speed from the dynastart down there and also perhaps the uh, increase the gear ratio as i said earlier so i'm just going to put the camera on a tripod if you bear with me a second and uh, give you a quick demo so you can see for yourselves right so here we go Plenty of speed there, and in uh, future, if we fit a slightly larger sprocket on the Dynastar, we can perhaps get even more rotational speed. When we snap the decompressor, there should be uh, enough inertia to take it over the top and start the bike. So all we have to do now is to pull it all the bits again, to take the head off, to continue working on the head, to fit the decompressor, to cut the valve seat, to make the decompressor itself and the spring assembly and all those other bits. But it's still great progress and I'm quite pleased with the results as they stand right now. So that's it, quick update for tonight. As usual, thank you for watching. More updates will follow.